tonight on Big Brother. You're like my best friend in the house here. And then, like, you thinking I'm not genuine? The claws come out as the girls turn on each other. I was so offended. You've got to be a bit careful of Penny, to be honest. Who can trust who? I have to say something. I have to get it off my chest. I've always been like, yep, I'll back you all the way. In the countdown to the finale. She was kind of saying I'm not fully genuine and I'm a bit of a fence sitter. Guy and Lena have been paired for the Christmas task. Yeah. What's the what is the Starlight Foundation? It's a charity. It's a charity. They have to stuff soft toys as presents for sick children. I notice, like with you, you're so like confident with like I don't know with everything. Like yeah, you're always naked. If that or, makes like, you feel uncomfortable, please. No, let me it's know. not. No, but this, so my point was is that. Even like, you know how sometimes you need reassurance, right? And you're not afraid to ask for reassurance, that kind of thing. For me, like, I would never ask for reassurance, even if I wanted it, because it's just not in my cultural structure to do that. Like, I've just never been taught to do that. And so I find it... Mean? For me, I know that if I do that, someone might just go, oh, stop trying to, like, you know, like... Find compliments try to get or, intention. Try to get yeah, attention. Yeah. Like initially, I'm not gonna lie. I thought like you may have been doing it to get attention. Yeah. Uh, no. I'm just really indecisive, so I always need another person's opinion. Yeah. Of, you know. But have people told you that you could be perceived like that? No. Really. Yeah. So can you believe it's just you and me out of the boys left? Yeah, I know. How weird is it? Especially to come in together. I know. What do you think? Do I look nice today? Like, th that kind of stuff, which is just stuff that I would never, ever, ever... Oh, like when I go, do you like my nail polish colour? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, I totally can understand how it's like... I'm kind of... You or other people could perceive that as fishing for compliments. Mm. Oh, no, no. I just want other people's opinion. Mm. <laughs> oh, dude, stop. Oh, he just uh, made me step uh, into. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> got me a beauty there. <laughs> Why don't you do that in China? Because it's not. China is about modesty. If you ask, not compliments, but if you're asking kind of with the hope to receive a compliment, you lose a lot of face. It's considered very like. Um, self-indulgent, like arrogant. And in China, you don't... It's all about making sure that everybody else is okay first. That's oh, just the way, like, wow. we're geared. I don't know what's going to happen when I get out of here. Penny's in the kitchen with the boys talking about life after Big Brother. you got to remember Penny, but, like, obviously I don't know your boyfriend, but you got to try... Like, life's too short I'll be to, honest. At life's my too age... short just to, you know... The, the positives in a relationship have got to outweigh the negatives yeah, by something I know, shocking. I otherwise, know. I think yeah. it's just that I hold on to the things that he tells me how good it's going to be, and and sometimes like it is terrible. But a little bit at my age, you kind of go like, oh, like if we could make this work, like it would be great. Like if we could make it work, mm. if he would do all the things he says, then I'd be like, I'd be the happiest girl alive. But it, it <laughs> actions speak louder than words. And yeah, I know, a relationship yeah. shouldn't be made to work. They should just work. <laughs> so what did you speak with Sky about? Oh, I just told her, like, in a nicer way what I said. Like, for me, I think it comes... It sounds so stupid. It actually sounds really stupid. But it's like, for me, it's all about being modest. You don't Ooh. ask for compliments. You Ooh. don't... Um, draw, like, openly draw that kind of attention to you. Mm. I, I don't know how to explain it. You just, you know, you don't constantly... I do that sometimes. Yeah, but it's different. Like, I notice it more with Sky, right? And I maybe you do it just as much, and maybe I should be telling you the same thing, but I notice it more with Sky, and that's mm -hmm. the only way I can, like, say it. Mm. I think you'll find um, Mr. Right, for sure. Yeah. I'm I a believer. Stress. I'm a believer in it happening. It's just because I am older, and, like... 
there's just been so many guys that mm. like me how I am and they like they like how I look and they like the idea of dating a dancer. I don't know how many of them have had issues with but then when they start dating me they're like trying to talk me out of doing jobs and it's so damn so professional weird. though. Like the costumes, yeah. everything's so professional. Like come and watch me dance, you'll see that we don't even mix with the crowd. It's like yeah. it's like be hot but don't do anything with it. Yeah. Don't let anyone see you. It's yeah. like, but I'm like, people see my photos. They know what I do. Yeah. Like, they know I do bikini shoots here and there. Not anymore, but yeah. bits and pieces. Like, I'm, I show a bit of skin. I've never, like, worn a lot of clothes. You don't like, need I'm, to explain yourself, Penny. Like, but, but that's any what I'm guy saying. That guys like guy... the idea of it. And then I start dating with them. And then to start dating them. And then they try to change what you do. And, you are... oh, don't. Take off, don't do those. I don't want you doing that work anymore. Insecure. Yeah. And so you and don't it's like, own hang me. Hang on a minute. You're I'm not in, I'm in, I'm supporting me financially. How can you brainwash me in, into saying no to all that to that work? Yeah. You lead your life, let them lead, lead theirs, and you're together. As soon as someone tries to change your own life, I don't think you're mm. the right person. Yeah. She's doing the great big bike ride too, so that should be interesting. Sky has just spent an hour with Lena assembling Christmas presents. What's that for? You ride around Victoria on a bike. They're having a casual chat about Lena's sister going on a cycling trip. Then you get up the next morning and you ride to the next town or whatever, and you camp and whatever, and you clock like all That's of awesome. Victoria. Mm. That'd be so fun. Ugh, I couldn't think of anything worse. Imagine how sore your ass would be. I know, but I'd like that. <laughs> but something has upset Sky. Where are you going? Travis. I have to say something, I have to get it off my chest. Lena's annoying me. <laughs> Hardcore. Why? I just don't find her interesting. Yeah. Like... What, what is she saying that annoys you about? Oh, nothing. And, like, she's just so opinionated and, like... 100%. Everything, like, I go really kind of negative and she's always frowning and, like... Before she's like, oh yeah, my sister's doing a bike ride around Victoria or something and they camp out and then they ride to different destinations. And I'm like, oh, that's awesome. I'd love to do that. She's like, really? I can't think of anything worse. I'm like... Yeah, I... I and just like, I don't find her in interesting. Like, the things she talks about. I can Coming. totally see it. Like, we'll talk later, but... Um, Penny, I just enjoy Penny's company so much more. But just because you enjoy Penny's company, it doesn't mean... Um, Lena's annoying you. Not annoying, it just means you, do, you, you don't have that many interests. I mean, she talks like... And I feel like she's constantly judging me because she's so educated. Yeah. And I'm not. I feel the same. When you sit in discussion too, she'll try like... Sure, she'll talk later. Yeah. It was funny, as a kid, like, I used to be the centre of attention because I was the Western... Yeah. Chinese oh, child. did I tell you I loved being the center of attention? You're gonna laugh. That doesn't when I tell surprise you this. me. But you're gonna laugh when yeah. I tell you this. So people used to come over for dinner, and as soon as I used to notice that the attention is not on me, the attention is on the food. I used to climb the dining table, and I still have memories of doing that, and start reciting a poem. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! And even in the, in the in the lounge room, we used to have a little um, centre table, my dad yeah, used yeah. to call it. I used to sometimes stand on top of the centre table, like if my dad is talking to a friend, like a friend has visited him and mum is like, let, let the men talk. Yeah. Um, I would be like, okay, can I take tea for them? Can I take this for them? Can I enter the room? And my mum was like, okay, take tea for Do them. Right, yeah. So I'll go take tea and I'll be like, hi, I'll give tea. And then suddenly, I'll get on top of the centre table and start reciting poetry. Oh my god. And my dad used to be so embarrassed. Why though? That's cute though. It as was a kid. funny. It was yeah. hilarious. There's someone who has never known me, never seen me. And suddenly, so this is me. Hi! Mary had a little big <laughs> <laughs> Because I just love like, attention. She's not mine. <laughs> Tell me if she comes, like, just wink at me or something. Yeah, she's like, you're always asking for reassurance. Like, and I'm like, can you give me an example? And she goes, well, for, for instance, like, um, on eviction night, you're always asking people, will I be okay? Will I be okay? And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, so you're talking about me going, Travis, do you like my nail polish? And she's like, yeah. She's like, I feel like you're fishing for compliments. 
or attention seeking and I'm like, no, I just want a second opinion, like. Yeah, that's a good answer and she said. She's just like, yeah, but do you realise that it can come across as being attention seeking? So now I just feel like she's judging me. <clears throat> I need to go oh, it's hot. I think I'll get in my swimmers. Coming up. I feel like she's a bit scared of me sometimes. Who's afraid of Priya? I think she finds me intimidating even though I'm not. For Priya to win, call 1902 or SMS Priya to 199 For Ryan to win, call 1902 or SMS Ryan to 199 Or vote on Facebook. With just six in the house, it's hard to avoid someone who's annoying you. If you meet someone and you really like them, then none of that's going to matter because you'll just want them to be by your side no matter what. Like, What happens if you never meet someone like that, though? Well, of course you will. Or for them, like, love is this thing that's unattainable and therefore they never find it. But that's in their own mind. Yeah, but that will affect whether they do or don't. <laughs> Why are you laughing? No, and she's right. If Mr. Wright is meant to meet you, That's he will meet you whether or not you're in a relationship. That would not matter. Penny, I'm feeling so irritable today. Why? Oh, I just think that Lena talks too much. I know. No, but she constantly talks about... She's very game-focused, whereas I'm a little bit more blasé. No, she's I'm... out there talking about relationships. Oh, OK. Yeah, but she's... Yeah, she but just still... has really strong opinions and... Yeah. I feel like she tries to persuade people of her mm. thoughts. And the disagreement was that not everyone in this lifetime will find love. Let's see if you I love, wasn't you, married. You, you love what you have, but you don't love them. See, that's sad. See, that's if sad. I, yeah, that's exactly. Yeah, I if, if I was single and I get pregnant with a guy who doesn't want to be with me, I will still not love that guy because it He's might the not be there. Child. But I will always respect him as the father of my child, but there may be no love. And that's okay. That's what I said. I'm like, I don't believe, I believe that everyone, every single person yeah, I don't choose to believe will find that. love in this world, but you just it's have to It's going to happen be, for me. Exactly. It'll happen. You just have to be open-minded about it. Yeah. Who knows, but man, like, our opinion's only one thing. Yeah. Remember this what? is Big Brother, Travis and Ryan, to the diary group. <clears throat> Go say good morning to Melv. Travis and Ryan. Hello, Big Brother. Good morning. 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 Gentlemen, tell Big Brother what it's like being the two boys in a house full of girls. Four crazy girls, mind you. <laughs> Don't forget that. How are the girls getting along? Yeah, I think they're getting along all right. Um, uh, I think there's maybe a little bit of tension between Lena and, and um, Sky. Yeah, Lena's just, I suppose, offering a bit of advice to people that it's not really needed with six days to go, I think. And Sky's one girl that will, um, yeah, get her back at it and want to know mm. what she's doing wrong. What, what's up? You know what's so weird is that Lena's gravitated towards you mm. and Penny's gravitated towards me. Mm. And they are completely different people. Mm -hmm. But the good thing is that you and I are together. Yeah, we're together. Mm. So we've got ourselves and You've got to be a bit careful of Penny, to be honest, because she has signified so many times that she finds you annoying, doesn't like you. Yeah, has and pointed. doesn't like me. I mean... Annoyed. If she finds, if I, know I find someone she's in this holding house, back on a lot. Hundred percent. And lot. that's Penny. She hates conflicts. She will never tell you how she actually feels. Yeah. The reason why she's gravitating towards you is because she can't do that with me because of major personality differences between me and her. And we have major personality differences, don't but you think? A, you're younger than her, right? You're ten years younger, so that's a bonus for her. So she can be the older one in the relationship. With me, she she finds it hard and she thinks I'm gonna call her out on things and she's, I feel like she's a bit scared of me sometimes. 
Probably. I get that feeling. I think she finds me intimidating, even though I'm not. She will never tell you what she doesn't like about you, but she's going to feel it and she's going to keep it in. Those people are the scariest kind of people. Wow. I feel so betrayed. Like, I never, I've never said anything bad about Penny. I really think Sky and Priya only have that existing friendship from being an original. Yep. But lately, Lena and Priya would be more inclined to hang out with one another and Sky's just going about her business herself on her own. What is this? Penny and Sky have been paired up for the Christmas task. What is this? Oh my God. Who what is this? Oh my gosh, in keeping with the spirit of Christmas, you are required to help your fellow housemates in their champagne to win Big Brother. Oh my gosh! As the ultimate stocking filler, you will sign headshots of your fellow housemates. You should sign their name and encourage fans to vote for them. Let's see Lena's. Okay. She looks very pretty. I'll tell you what Lena said to me now. Yeah. What? She was like... I couldn't believe it. You know when you don't un you don't realise someone has a problem with you? Do you know how offended I was in hot seat? I was you know, so offended. No, no, okay, so like, all right, I came in here with her and I've always been like, yep, I'll back you all the yeah. way. Girls for the win, girls, girls, girls. So then hot seat, when she said to me, do you skirt around contentious issues to avoid conflict? No. She was kind of saying I'm not fully genuine and I'm a bit of a fence sitter and I, she thinks I hold back and I've got more to say but I'm careful with what I say on issues. And I was like, no, th this is me and I was really offended because I was like, here I am I, when you're thinking, you're, I was thinking like, you're like my best friend in the house here mm. and then like, you thinking I'm not genuine? I was so offended. She said because in China, in my culture, we never ask for reassurance. And I was like, okay, I don't understand where this is going. And Were you she, like, whoa? Yeah, I was like, this whoa. This is like what Priya did to me. You don't know what Priya's been doing to me. And I haven't told you any of this, but Priya has given me the hardest time the other night. You have no idea. And Lena as well. They're like little sidekicks now. Yeah. Sorry to tell you this, but it's just you and me. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm happy with that. <laughs> okay. End of look, the day, I'm the look. only one taking care of Kelly's is this good? dog doodoos. Mm, that looks awesome. Oh, crap. I'm writing over Ryan's face. <laughs> <laughs> Can kick a soccer ball, intelligent and world smart. Lena. <laughs> Coming up, the task results revealed. It's Santa here. Just kidding, it's Jason. <laughs> For Sky to win, call 1902 or SMS Sky to 199 for Travis to win, call 1902 or SMS Travis to 199 or vote on Facebook. Be careful, honey. This is a moment we will cherish from here on out as we watch the rainfall from the beautiful sky of our universe. Okay. I'm so happy we're here. I know, final week We together. made it. <laughs> we did, didn't we? How good's that? I'm feeling proud of myself. Same. Like, it's just a... Should we sit? Travis and Sky represent half of the original housemates that remain, having spent 74 days in the house. Regardless <laughs> of what happens, yeah, from now on in, it's like a feeling of accomplishness. Accomplishment. <laughs> How sick. Sit up here, Ryan. Like, yeah. How sick of this. Ryan and Priya complete the picture. Um, Two sugars. Oh, you guys. Cool. Ma, it feels so yeah. right, just us four Thank being you. here. Like, now it feels like the final. This is Big Brother. All housemates to the lounge. If it's us four at the end, or like... I'll be happy. I'll be happy too. I'll be happy. Housemates. <laughs> yeah, big brother. <laughs> this week, your task was to effectively operate Big Brother's Christmas factory. Yes. By prepping presents for children in need of some festive cheer. Mm -hmm. aye, aye. Here's what happened when a familiar face delivered your presents to the Starlight Children's Foundation oh in gosh. Brisbane. Oh, 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 housemates, Jason. it's Santa here. Oh. 
Just kidding, it's Jason. <gasps> you guys have been wrapping presents all week. Now I'm here to deliver some Christmas cheer. Oh. I'm here to some kids that want some presents. Yes, just this way. Yay! Yeah. Are we ready for Santa? Yeah. Here I am, guys. We've got the presents and we're about to get started. Yay, yeah, you're so cute. How are you? Have a good Christmas. Oh, so cute. What is it? Yeah. Oh, oh, Do you like it? High five. Yeah. It's a present for you. Do you want to open it up? Let's see what's inside. Here at Starlight, we're trying to raise $1.4 million for over 200 life-changing Starlight wishes. Oh, that is so cool! Thank you, oh. So do you like your presents, kids? Yeah. yeah! Well, there you go, housemates. They've spoken. You passed this week's task. Yeah. Congratulations! Yeah. That's epic. That's so nice to see the outside That's world. so good. Wow. That's unreal. Housemates, congratulations for passing the task. Thank you. Thank you. And for that, Big Brother is supplying you with the ultimate Christmas feast. Yeah. Christmas has come early. A feast of ham, prawns, turkey, and all the trimmings awaits them in the pantry. <laughs> But they'll have to cook it themselves. There's so much oh, food here. I'm starving. So this is good. Do you want help? Cut more. Oh, wow. Is this making anyone feel excited for Christmas? Yes. Yeah, being with their family and stuff. That looks so good, Lena. Fit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I'm so glad I'm here for this week. This is such a different week. Yeah. Such a different feel. It's to a it. nice feeling. <laughs> so, what are some of the traditions? The Hindu traditions that I follow? Yeah. Uh, one is Diwali, which is a festival of lights. Yep. So on Diwali day, um, you decorate your house with candles and lamps. It's all about adding light to your house. Okay. And it's a celebration of the goddess of wealth. Okay. <laughs> so you were saying you don't celebrate Christmas prayer? Yes, we don't. So this will be my pr first Christmas. So is that just because it's a religious thing to you, or is it? No, not at all. It's just that we haven't done it so far. Like what, the only because, because I don't, don't have family Christmas. here. Hindus don't. It's not a Hindu festival. But I don't mind celebrating it. So I celebrate it at school. But when I have kids, I want to do the whole shebang for yeah. them, like the Christmas tree and the gifts and the feast and everything. <sighs> Penny. Hi. Penny, with only a week remaining in the Big Brother house. Big Brother has noticed your housemates are looking a bit thin in the wardrobe department. Yes! Yes! Penny, Big Brother has spotted a job for you. Okay. As a fashion stylist. Yeah? Your job is to give your housemates a full makeover so they look the part heading into the final days of the Big Brother experience. Yeah. When you leave the diary room, you must head straight to the parlour you will find a clothing rack full of outfits and various makeover products. Okay. <laughs> she better dress me right. I'll tell you what I see and what I'd like to put you in, and then I want you to tell me what you like and what you'd be happy with. If vanity is a sin, I'm very simple. Oh, oh wow. Well, well, this is great. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Me like it. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know what that means, but oh, sure. Okay, so. <laughs> So. Yeah, no, this is good. Okay, so. Oh my god, Penny. Don't trust. Trust me. Oh gosh. Don't look, don't. <laughs> Priya, if you'd like to come out and show everyone. I want to be like sophisticated. Sophisticated, I reckon. I'm feeling great. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh they're going to get such a shock. Okay. Feels very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! Really nice backline on it. Yeah. Lena! Yeah. There it is. Ryan! Oh. Guy, please come out. Oh. Who says I don't feel comfortable? I'm looking sexy. 
And now, <laughs> Penny, it's your turn, and your stylist will be Travis. Yeah! Wow, you do have amazing eyes. I get this kind of dragon lizard feel and a, a very cute face. If I burn your ear, you just let me know. Hey, do you want me to poke your eye out? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it didn't take us long to transform this bubbly dancing queen into a sophisticated, <laughs> elegant <laughs> goddess. Like How sexy does she look? It's, it's very different. Mm. Oh my God. It's very vampire-esque. Do you reckon it looks good? <laughs> I like reckon it too, it's gorgeous. Fair. Coming up. The reasons why I should win Big Brother of 2014. Oh. The housemates speak from the heart. So I'm here to play the game that I'm here for. For Lena to win, call 1902 or SMS Lena to 199 For Penny to win, call 1902 or SMS Penny to 199 Or vote on Facebook. I just want to go for the tuck. Oh, Leo. Yes. Does the tuck yep. look outrageous? Yeah, no, the tuck looks good, bro. Ben, does the tuck look outrageous? No. No. Looks very smart. All right. I'm over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nearly done. I seriously feel that out of place of occasion. Don't! Mm -hmm. I need Wait, so don't, 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 don't give yourself. I don't look care. Look at me. Okay. No, but I didn't care, but like, for instance, let's be honest, you should all Penny, like you did a good job. <laughs> but look at me and Boys, you look good. I'm not going to lie, gonna but edges. together we definitely look like Giovanni and Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Giovanni. I look like right. 150 bucks for an hour. Can Stop I'm it! You seriously <laughs> might have to change these shoes, It's not how I dress you! <laughs> <laughs> I Penny. seriously cannot believe that booty. <laughs> Are you talking yeah. to me? Are you serious? I reckon it's a good. booty, like, that's a good thing to have a booty. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, chicks oh. want that. Let's go. Oh, yeah. I said I needed to squat more. Than... I'm not going to lie, that is seriously more plum than the Christmas pudding we're going to be serving up tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, but it's not meant to be this big. If no one likes my outfit, it's Travis's fault. Yeah. Oh, oh. Dinner is prepared, and Big Brother has a festive surprise for the housemates. Christmas decorations. <gasps> oh, kidding me. Mistletoe. Oh. <laughs> Big Brother! Yes. Big Brother. Oh, my oh, God. Look at the table. It looks amazing. Yeah, done it. This is epic. Oh Merry Christmas, my everyone. God. Okay. So what do I want for Christmas? I want $200,000. A toast to Christmas in uh, November. Christmas, Christmas in November. November. What do you call Trump trying to carve up turkey? Yes. Hopeless. <laughs> With only six at the table, it's a feast to die for. And like any Christmas dinner, there's a tendency to overindulge. So full, it's just terrible. I just want to keep eating so much. I had too much to eat. Well, that was one of the best Christmas dinners I've had in a while. Yeah. Oh, what's that? Oh, oh, Lena, those are Christmas outfits for Nevin Kelly. Oh, no! Oh, no! They look you epic and a half. Thank you. After dinner, the housemates are being given an opportunity to offload some of their excess baggage. Should we test her out? They'll take turns on a soapbox delivering their opinions on three subjects. So on top of the soapbox, here I stand. <laughs> the first topic is, what grinds your gears? Something close to my heart that really grinds my gears. It's when girls want to go out and have a girls night. Because um, every time the girls go out and want to have a girls night, there's usually a group of single guys like myself and Ryan that just want to have a boys night. When you get to a club and you walk up to a nice looking girl and you go, how are you going? 
Oh, sorry, honey. We're just having a girls' night tonight. <laughs> well, honey, I'm just having a boys' night. Can I buy you a drink? So, yeah, yeah, no worries. Let me take you to the bar. They get a drink off you. Thanks for that, mate. Then off back to the girls they go. It makes it very hard for two ugly boys like myself and <laughs> Riser to uh, find themselves a nice, lovely lady, and that's why we're both standing here now. Single, I suppose. Ladies and gentlemen, I first want to start by a little hip display. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's when, uh, when you go to a Thai restaurant and you've got these bloody Australians asking for no chilli and, oh, can we not do broccoli in that one? And can you make it a little more peanut? So they go in, you're like, can I please order a pad thai but a little less spice and a little bit more <laughs> peanut? Like, it's $9, just relax, just get a couple <laughs> of dishes and it's going to be 18 bucks, you tight ass. So one would be... People walking in the street that don't smile back at you. Oh, me too. Um, another issue would be when you're out with your friends at a restaurant and then the bill comes and they have to split it down to the exact cent. Oh my goodness, who cares? Let's just chuck in some money. So this really annoys me. As you all know, when I get around day to day, I wear gym clothes and $3 singlets and $5 clothing, okay? Not much makeup, hair's up, I'm practical. I go to a shop, yeah? I don't get served, people don't look at me, they judge me on my appearance. I'm sick of like um, people judging people based on their looks. I could still have the same amount of money in my wallet even if I'm dressed in my $3 clothing. It pains me in all the wrong places when people stereotype other people based on not just looks but yeah. age, yeah. race, yeah. religion, gender. No, no. You don't judge another person before you know them. <clears throat> The reasons why I should win Big Brother of 2014. Oh. <laughs> I'm me. I don't know how to do the dishes. I try my hardest how to cook. I wear my heart on my sleeve. I've given Australia and each and every one of you sitting on the couch my all. I don't think that any one of us deserve to win more than the other, even if it's Penny or Lena who have come in later in the game. Yeah, the money would benefit me a million ways, but I'm sure it'd do the exact same for each and every one of you guys, so. Uh, the way I see it is you don't need to be the loudest, you don't need to be the funniest, you don't need to be the most outgoing. But I can tell you now, and I can tell you with a hand on my heart, that I have been true to myself, I have been honest, I've been nothing but me from day one. To me, in my own eyes, I'm a winner. Just walking through those doors meant that I was a winner. It meant so much to me just to get like inside these walls. All I've ever wanted to do was make my mum and my little sister proud and I feel like I've done that so I'm a winner. For me this is, was a personal thing coming on here but also goes to prove that even when people discourage you and when people don't believe in you I think you can do anything as long as you don't you can't listen to the negatives. I have to also believe that even though I'm on the back foot that we too, as an intruder, could also perhaps win this game. As much as it is the most unlikely thing, I have to believe it. And I thrive on believing in the most unbelievable things can happen to people. So why can't I do it as well? I think I deserve to be the winner. I'm not going to start the speech by saying who I'm not, but I will mainly focus on who I am because I think that's what makes a winner. Um, I came in here knowing that I'm not everyone's cup of tea. I have never been in my entire life. I say I'm not everyone's bowl of curry just because it sounds funnier. I know I'm annoying. I know I get on people's nerves. But you know what? That's prayer. I know I came into this game being strategic. Do you know why? Because I came in here to win. And I know that you all did too. I'm here to play the game that I'm here for. I've always ha used this phrase saying I'm unapologetically Priya and whether or not I win this game I know that I have been unapologetic for who I am. It is absolutely okay to be different and to be proud of who you are. You were not born to blend in, you were born to stand out and it is okay. Thank you. Coming up, Sky, she's boy crazy. Travis drops a bombshell. I think I like Ryan. <laughs>
The third and final soapbox topic is things you'd like to get off your chest. One subject that I want to get off my chest that oh, my hasn't God. really been talked about in depth so far is um, Sky <laughs> and the fact that she's boy crazy. Uh, first of all, on night one, she doesn't pick me. You go on to start hooking up with Jake. Oh, I like skinny guys. Oh, how cute. <laughs> Oh my god, Trabby, I think I like guys who don't go to the gym. <laughs> Fair enough, Sky. Next week, oh my big god. muscle man Leo walks in. Trab, Trab, scrap it. Oh my god, I like muscly guys. <laughs> and hear this, I'm in love. Six weeks later, Leo's gone. Trabby, Trabby. I think I like Ryan. <laughs> Seriously, Sky. Jake, Leo, Ryan, you should have just went for gold on night one. Here I am here. You missed your opportunity and now you're going for okay, all right. I said you were Well, the cat is out of the bag now. You missed gold night one and you've been stuck with Jake, Leo, and go for Ryan, I'm sure. He'll... You could have had this from Sky's the start, baby. Boy crazy. I'm not kidding. <laughs> oh, well, Travi, that's going to be... <laughs> That's going to be a hard one to follow on by. Um, but my only issue in this house is when people don't use that bloody exhaust fan in the kitchen. Yes. You walk in there, we've got Mrs Curry over here cooking with double the amount of garlic, double the amount of cumin seeds and double the amount of bloody whatever spice. Oh, it smells good in here, looks good. Walk out. Hello sir, how are you doing? Uh, you feel half bloody Indian when you walk out of there. Put the exhaust fan on guys. Hey. I love Priya's opening line. She has a go at you and goes, I'm, gonna, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you who I'm not. And then she contradicts herself by saying, I'm not perfect, I'm not always funny. She fully contradicted herself. I was sitting there just going, oh. Yeah, I know. <laughs> hey, but how could like, you see? Just, hey, everyone, she took that so seriously. I'm like, just really. Priya like, is seriously unbeatable at oh, getting at, people back. At life, man. Like, she can't. <laughs> How's the ammo? Oh, dude, she's shocking. This guy's boy crazy. I can't believe him. He's called you boy crazy. And I know he may be doing it as a joke. It's but a if I were you, him, though. If I were you, I would be so annoyed. So annoyed. Really it's, annoyed. It's a secret that we have all been keeping. That was a bit of fun, but. Yeah, it was so fun. And that's like, she gets so defensive, cut Sky off in the middle of hers. After I hanged out everyone, what did I say? Yeah. Just about myself as just being oh, just honest. It was good. Yeah. It took him six seconds. Six seconds to reveal it. Oh, God. It's, it's a, it was a very powerful piece of information that could have affected your relationship with Ryan big time. Mm. That's what I'm saying. So embarrassing. And what I was saying to you was the truth. It took us, it, we kept it for you. For him to reveal it to Ryan, that's embarrassing for you. Go face Ryan now. <laughs> I thought he knew, but now we all know that he knows. <laughs> Isn't that embarrassing? So how do you feel about now having a girl crashing on you in this house? No, she doesn't really. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> no comment. Your oh. lipstick matches your dress. My lipstick matches my dress. Thanks for noticing, Big Bella. I might go boy crazy on you. <laughs> You're next. <laughs> oh my gosh. Couldn't believe Travis. I actually could not believe that he did that to me. <sighs> embarrassing. So embarrassing. But I think Ryan already knew. In a funny way, do you feel a bit relieved to have it out in the open? <laughs> no, it's awkward. It's so awkward. <laughs> Look at that. She's like, this is so ridiculous. I couldn't believe Travis threw me under the bus. Like, I thought he was my best friend and I thought that I could tell him something in confidence and him not repeat it. 
But that just showed me that, wow, like, if people want to entertain Australia, that's what they'll do. They don't really care about your secrets or, like, how you'll feel. or They don't understand the embarrassment you'll go through. You feel as though Travis betrayed you for a cheap laugh. I do, and it was so cheap. It was such a low blow. Next. Sky, I saw you pull a funny face during my speech. What did you not agree with? Lena front Sky. You did. What? Yeah. The soapbox may be over, but Priya is still on hers. I did forget to say one thing, and I regret not saying it, so let me just say it here. Another annoying thing in the house that, um, that has not been addressed is that everyone in the Big Brother house um, says, oh, if you have an issue with someone, just go and tell that person, just confront that person, or just say to that person and sort it out with them that way. And then when someone actually does that, people either get offended, insulted, or people um, start to twist what that conversation would have actually meant, and it just never stays the same. During Lena's turn on the soapbox, she noticed Sky didn't take too kindly to some of what she had to say. If you ask me what you think, I'll tell you what I think. If you don't ask me what I think, you won't hear it. And for me, it's about building interpersonal relationships with everybody within this house. Sky, I saw you pull a funny face during my speech. What did you not agree with? Yeah. During my speech? Yeah, you did. You pulled a funny face. I was like, oh, I wonder why. When? You did. What was the face? You like, like, you a bit like... What? Yeah, that one. <laughs> that one. talk for so long. I got him zone out. So I probably zoned out. <laughs> if there was something that I didn't agree with, I would have said something. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I, mean, no, I actually don't. Oh. No, it's okay. I just wanted to know because I'd be interested to see what you had to say. I did not agree with anything you said. Sorry. <laughs> How would you describe your relationship with Sky at the moment? Um, I think Sky and I have a very superficial relationship. I think that we get along at a social level and, you know, when it comes to having a laugh or having a chat, you know, when she's open to it, it'll happen. When she's not open to it, it kind of doesn't happen. Like, Sky is very selective in um, how she or who she chooses to be friends with. I think she's very... Um, thought out in a lot of things that people may not pick up. I'm sure she sees Priya and I getting a lot closer than maybe she's comfortable with. You know, like we'll be having a group conversation and she'll come and she'll stand in front of me and have her back towards me and cut me out of the conversation. You know, it's like, I don't know if she's conscious of it. I really don't, but I notice those things. <laughs> you know what? I forgive you. Oh. Oh my god. I said that she wrecked him. Yeah. I seriously still can't believe you did that. Well, how fun is the fun, true? He knew though. I think he knew. So, did it surprise you to learn about this attraction? Yeah, absolutely. I, I remember she told me she, I was in a dream once. It was a little bit of a naughty one, but that's as far as that went. Um, yeah, I was a little bit surprised. In saying that, though, Leo has gone, so she's probably looking for a new fish. So is it fair to say affection is important to Sky? Oh, absolutely. I think, um, I think that's quite, um, quite obvious there, big brother. It didn't take long for... Uh, for young Skyzy to spear him with um, Leo there after Jake left. So what's the day today? Leo's been gone for about three days now. Yeah, I, I should be... My bed should be warming up soon. Not to take anything away from you, Ryan, but <laughs> she doesn't have too many options left, does she? 
<laughs> oh no, it's the best of a bad bunch. Um, was was my speech good? Yeah, it was great. Um, some of them dragged on a little bit. Yeah. I was like, I liked Ryan. I thought Ryan spoke well. Oh yeah, Ryan's perfect. What, what's new? <laughs> For me, it was just a, a bit of a laugh. Um, and hopefully we can get the ball rolling for Sky and Riser now to um, get Sky into her third relationship. I was about to bark at you. Hola, guapa. Me look for Bondi Beach. Bondi Beach? Give me my glasses. Can anyone tell me where Bondi Beach is? <laughs> the Sula people, no? Yeah, swim, oh. swim. Yeah. Swim, swim. You want to come with si, me? Si, Hola, si. guapa. Si, si, si. Hola. Oh, si, oh. Bushito, thank Bushito. you, thank you, Bapas. Oh, stepping it up. He really wants to win. Yeah, but, but this is his way of stepping it up? Of throwing people under the bus? I think it's his way of stepping it down. <laughs> this is the negative side of the positive, Travi. Not in front of him. No, you know what? You know why I think I do, at why I'm so attracted to him? Because I know he doesn't like me back. That's why. And it, I guarantee you, this is so messed up, but I guarantee you if he started liking me back and acted the way Leo acted, I'd be like, ugh. Yeah, definitely. I don't know why, I've got a problem. Fix want what they can't have. Yeah. Do you think I look like a 45 year old with this moment, be honest? <laughs> <laughs> and be honest, because I'm actually only 24. <laughs> Such a serious face. <laughs> no, nah, not 40. You look about. Let's see. Yeah, you look 24. <laughs> Do I? Yeah. <laughs> We'll get you that boy. Shut up! <laughs> if I hear any more, I will kill you. Dream World, the home of Big Brother.